we had somebody laid on to sing the French national anthem. Uh, but she either got cold feet or a frog in her throat. We uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is a real honor for me to be here to participate in this next step along the way that started for you 74 plus years ago when you and your combat engineers hit the beaches at Normandy in Utah Beach. He was assigned to a combat engineer battalion. And if you're familiar, familiar with engineers in the Army, a combat engineer battalion does it all. It's the workhorse of the battlefield. They have the construction equipment, the bulldozers, the payloaders, the graders, the cranes, the earth movers, the explosives, the landmines to either build or destroy anything on the battlefield. Patsy hit the beach 1st of August or so in 1944. And after nine or 10 months of fighting through France, and that's really what this medal is for, for what you did in France, he had been awarded the Bronze Star with an oak leaf cluster. Now, the Bronze Star is about the fourth highest individual decoration the Army can pass out or award. He has an oak leaf cluster with that, which means he got that twice. So we're dealing with a real life hero. Which kind of brings us up to why we're here and what we're here for. And I'd like to read a letter from the French consulate, Consulate General of France and New York. I'll just read a part of it. Following Mr. De Vivo's appointment as Chevalier in the Order of the Legion of Honor by the President of the French Republic, it is an honor for me to address this medal to him. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my warmest congratulations and express my deep gratitude for all Mr. DeVito has done for my country. Thank you. So with my best wishes and renewed appreciation, Anne Claire Legendre, and you'll have to correct me on pronunciation, <laughs> the Consul General. And that medal, this medal was created by Napoleon Bonaparte back in 1802 and was meant to recognize people who contributed significantly to France and its well-being. And this is an effort for, from the French government to honor Patsy in the work he did in World War II. I just uh, probably in 30 seconds described what he has done. Uh, if you want, uh, that was a Reader's Digest version. Mm -hmm. Someplace here, I've got a complete list, a chronology of his service from the day he hit the beach and all the uh, locations that he was at. If you're a computer animal and you can go online, if you Google 305th Combat Engineer Battalion, uh, it'll pop up. It's about 20 pages long for the whole, it's a history of the division that they were assigned to, including the 305th. All right, again, the Legion of Honor for U.S. Veterans. <clears throat> Upon presentation of their military file as detailed hereunder, and there was a regular application form, U.S. veterans who risked their life during World War II to fight on French territory may be awarded this distinction. Those selected are appointed as a chevalier, which in my interpretation means a knight, and the Legion of Honor, created in 1802 by Napoleon Bonaparte to honor extraordinary contributions to the country, the Legion of Honor is France's highest distinction. Since only a small number of Legion of Honor medals are awarded each year in the United States, care is taken to nominate only those with the most distinguished record. And there's one of them right there. Okay. Bravo. 
I was trying to think of a way to describe actually what the medal meant. It can't be served by a member of our Congress, Senate, any part of our government, because it's a French medal. Mm -hmm. It brings to mind of all the young men that we have on the beach of Normandy and all over France. If all the guys that are buried there and women were able to stand, we could see our youth basically from 17 to 25 years old. The parents of the children that couldn't go on in life. Uncle is receiving a medal from a government that understands the great loss and sacrifice. So with that, I'd like to present, and I'm proud to be able to present to my uncle, the medal from France, from the French government, and from its people. Thank you.